Hello, good morning, and welcome to In the Blink of an Eye with yours truly, Benjamin Valdez, El Capitan, from Pueblo Tires and Service, your family car care center. Today, I am here visiting with uh, this young man, Dominic Gaona. And uh, Dominic, thank you for having us here. Well, thank you for being here. Now, Dominic, uh, this, is, uh, this is a real life story. Uh, you might have uh, heard uh, about Dominic uh, sometime back in July. Uh, unfortunately, Dominic lost both his parents due to COVID, your father and your mother. Yes. From what I understand, on the same day. On the same day. Um, I can remember as if it was yesterday. Um, it was around uh, because when we when I heard the first news in the morning, it was when they were resuscitating my dad, and it was my mom, my biological mom, who was actually uh, uh, giving uh, getting updates from the nurses, mm -hmm. from the head nurse and everything, giving us updates about how's the condition of both of my parents. My dad was the um, pa my dad was the one who passed away first, and that was like around 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and when we heard that news, it was just devastating because. They were, they were supposed to send him home that very same day. Yeah. And it was in, that's when we knew that he wasn't gonna come home. They, they, we were so sure that he, they, were, they were gonna come home that they even sent him a machine from the hospital for yeah. him to breathe through the nose, you know? Um, and it's a big machine. And, you know, we were so sure that, again, we were gonna come, they were gonna come home. And that's how sure we were. And then once we heard the news that my dad was the one who passed away first, it was, devastating to say the least you right. know it was just very emotional for everybody in my family and during this time your mother was in the hospital as well yes she was in the hospital uh, they both were my mom was technically the first one to go to the hospital first but she didn't like hospitals because you know she didn't like um she uh, hospitals kind of remind her of death and that's why she never liked it yeah but she was so scared but we keep telling your mom this is this is serious you know this is a new disease so obviously if it is COVID mm -hmm. and sure enough when we when she went to the to the hospital they confirmed it because I was I went with her the very mm -hmm. same day because I I was bad with COVID too so then when I went in with her um, they just um, give me some um, medication in the hopes that since I'm young and you know I have asthma yes but I'm young and I'm strong um, they, mm -hmm. they thought that I would have, you know, gone, gone over COVID, but unfortunately, um, I ended up ho in the hospital for the second time. Mm. And that second time is where I was battling for my life for, oh, wow. cause, cause asthma is oh, my yeah. weakness. Pulmonary <laughs> infection. It's, exactly. So, and so your dad passed away first. My dad passed away first. Around 11. And around then your 11. mother? She passed away like around six. Six at the same day. Six, seven, yeah, around there in the afternoon. So. You might have heard the story about Dominic Gaona because I understand Channel 5 came out here to interview you. Yes, the interview is over there in the front they porch. They did a, a, a segment, a story uh, on Dominic and his experience. And maybe some of you out there have experienced the same thing. So, uh, you know, we're, we're here. I've gotten to know Dominic a little bit because we're going to discuss how I got to, uh, I actually met you about two weeks ago and uh, in person, but we've been, uh, there's something important going on in your life, Dominic. I know you were you're going to South Texas College. Yeah. And uh, but again, we you know you have our condolences and our prayers on the loss of your parents. I know you're you're hanging in there, and uh, you've got uh, you got some other family members who are supporting you. Yeah. And uh, a lot of good folks out there have sent you letters. We'll talk about that, uh, some well wishes and so forth. So today, in the blink of an eye, we're out here in the open air and uh, this is uh, uh, Dominic's uh, living quarters. I think you live with, and there's an aunt of yours that lives here with you? Yes, yeah, so, um, two aunts and one uncle. Okay, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna discuss uh, some of these things that are affecting our society today and, and Dominic, I'm sure there's, you know, thousands of other cases similar to yours where people lost loved ones, whether parents or a son or a daughter. Uh, we know that this, this disease is, uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, has uh, infected or has caused the deaths. Uh, a lot of people, I think your parents had somewhat of underlying conditions. Yes, um, what, my mom had an asthma and she had a heart and also knee problems. Yeah, because they were relatively young. They were in their, uh, what, late 50s? They were, I want to say like around 66, 67. Oh, 60. Yes, yeah, 60. Okay, not 50s. No. No, okay, so. Still, I mean, that's still relatively young, but uh, this disease that uh, so many people have died from, they've learned that, you know, if you had underlying conditions, that was one of the, 
uh, more aggressive, uh, you know, forms where the disease would attack or, you know, invade your body. And unfortunately, a lot of people with their diabetes, heart blood pressure, heart conditions, any other underlying conditions were in grave danger. And that's what we've seen. Now, you yourself had COVID-19. Yes. And you, how long were you in the hospital? I was in the hospitalized for three days. The first day, I was... I was bad. I, bad. I was begging to the nurses to give me something for the pain, and it's all over my chest area, um, down to my spine. And that's how bad it was. And I was literally um, there looking at the uh, little machine that was counting your oxygen mm -hmm. levels for your blood. It was at 70%, and it was going down. Wow. And that's when I knew that I was literally battling COVID. I was literally there fighting for my life, and I was scared because, like, um, they couldn't visit me. Right. The same thing with my parents. That's why it was so hard for me to let go of my parents because I, I couldn't say goodbye. And that's one of the sad things about this that, you know, hospitals, uh, you know, you have a loved one goes to the hospital, even for something else. It doesn't have to be COVID. Yeah. They won't allow anybody else in there. And, you know, if it's a loved one of yours, they got to go in there. Uh, uh, you know, I was uh, recently I had one of my daughters, she needed to go to the hospital. And uh, we took her to a hospital here in McKellen and uh, well, they're in McKellen. And fortunately, they let my wife in there to s at least come in there and, and talk to the uh, immediate, uh, you know, people that were there at the front. It was actually at the heart hospital and they let her in, but she wasn't able to go further in, but at least she didn't walk in by herself, you know, so. Yes. But uh, today, again, in the blink of an eye, on behalf of Public Turn Service, we want to present this ch this story to you because, uh, Dominic, like many of yourselves, many of you know some loved one out there who is going through hardships, and we're going to find out what's helping Dominic cope and uh, what's, what kind of support system he's dealing with or, or, or having. And we thank you for joining us today in the blink of an eye. And uh, again, we're out here in nature. I can hear the birds singing. So that's, that's nice. But we're going to take a little break, Dominic, and we're going to be right back in the blink of an eye with uh, Dominic Gaona, who, uh, who lost his parents on the same day back in July, around July what? Uh, I want to say, yeah, July 17th. July 17th. And we want to share his story that might help you out there who's dealing with something similar. So we'll be back in the blink of an eye. At Pueblo Tires and Service, your safety will always be our top priority. So we're taking all preventative measures during your visit. Let's keep our community moving with our wide variety of automotive services and our giant selection of new tires and wheels. Like a set of 420-inch tires for only $499. Or buy a set of 416-inch tires for only $299. And you'll get a free alignment check. And you also get a free 7-point inspection. Pueblo Tires and Service. 13 locations to serve you. At Pueblo Tires, you can use your income tax return money to drive away with new tires today. Get a set of 420-inch tires for only $4.99 or a set of 416-inch tires for only $2.99. At Pueblo, we're taking all preventative measures during your visit. En Pueblo Tires and Service, su seguridad es nuestra mayor prioridad. Así que estamos tomando todas las medidas de prevención durante su visita. Mantengamos a nuestra comunidad en movimiento con nuestra nueva y extensa variedad de servicios automotriz y nuestra gigantesca selección de rines y llantas nuevas. Como un set de cuatro llantas de 20 pulgadas por solo 499. O compre un set de cuatro llantas de 16 pulgadas por solo 299. Y usted recibe una verificación de alineación gratuita. Además, recibirá la inspección de siete puntos gratis. And welcome back to In the Blink of an Eye with uh, Benjamin Valdez, El Capitan from Pueblo Tires and Service. Folks, a lot of you out there are, have gotten your, your uh, tax refund or your stimulus check. Some of you have not. Maybe you have. Whatever the case may be, at Pueblo Tires, we're there to serve you. We have financial options up to 24 months to pay and no credit needed. We've been serving the community for 49 years, and we're proud to say that we thank God and we thank you. And a lot of you have come out there with your stimulus check and your tax refund and invested on a new set of tires or wheels. So we're there to help. 13 locations to serve the Valley. Look us up on shampoozy.com. We're open from Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. till 6 p.m. Well, today I'm here with Dominic Gaona. Dominic, how old are you? 27. 27. This young man lost his parents, as we heard, on the same day. Uh, and Dominic, uh, I know, again, I can't, I cannot, you know, I lost my mother when I was, but she was, she, not from COVID. She just, uh, she, she was up in age and, you know, she, her body gave out and God laid her to rest. She's, she's sleeping, she's resting. But when you lose your both parents on the same day due to a, a strange disease, I mean, you know, all we can say, Dominic, is I know God has been with you and he's sustained you. And I think you can say that. And, uh, but tell us a little bit about your upbringing, Dominic. 
Okay. Uh, if you don't mind, share that with us. Yes. Um, well, I was born in Maryland, so Chestertown, Maryland, a small hospital, uh, Mary Ann's uh, Hospital. Um, I was born there. My parents they were living there, uh, which are my grandparents. Um, Is it Maryland? Maryland. Wow. Maryland. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's in the state of... Uh, um, that's a, no, the Maryland is a state and Chestertown is a little small town that it's very quiet, but yet everybody knows each other because it's a but small town. But it's in town. Texas? No, it's in the United States and, and the east, east coast right here. East coast. Is that in, in uh, Maryland, Washington? Yes. Okay. Um, close to it, there was a, a small town around Maryland called Chestertown, uh -huh. and um, I was born there in a the small hospital. Um, my mom, at the time, she was uh, around in her teens, so she was very young when she had me, mm -hmm. very young. Mm -hmm. um, she um, had me in a very young age, and because of that, she didn't know how to take care of me. My parents, which are my grandparents, stepped mm -hmm. up and decided to adopt me at okay. the very moment. Um, I hear stories about how my mom actually told me that my dad was so mad at her that he punched the, the wall of the hospital because he raised all his kids to be uh, respected, all his kids to... Um, you know, to be uh, respectful of, the, of each other and themselves. And yeah. when mm. he learned that he, she was pregnant with me, uh, he, he was mad. And he even yelled at us at the nurses. And my mom was there <laughs> trying to, you know, you know, it's not the nurses' fault. Just calm down. And my dad's like, no, no, no. You know, she has to get, go out of the family because she made this mistake. And my mom said, well, if she's gonna go out of the family. I'm gonna go out too. Mm -hmm. So my dad had no choice. But you know, but once he saw me, that's when his temperament changed. And so when he saw me, he walked out of the hospital came back with diapers and toys <laughs> and you know all sorts of uh, baby stuff you yeah. know and uh, that's when he knew that I was his first grandson and so that's when they adopted me we got out of Maryland because they had issues mm -hmm. on their workplace so mm -hmm. they went to Texas <clears throat> because of job opportunities here um, and from there this is all where it started and I just went from elementary middle school and high school knowing what I wanted to do with my life which is involving computers right um, my aunt is the one who actually gave me the direction because I, did, I was so afraid of using the computer that I might break it or something that even just clicking a single you know cancel was you know in, it was uh, hard for me <laughs> but she showed me and because of that she actually led me to the direction where I want to do something with computers so I've been studying it wasn't really until college where I really started studying for computer science so, so, so how long did you actually live in Maryland oh um, <laughs> a few days for me. For you, okay. <laughs> for me, and then they've been living for a couple of years now, and for me it was like maybe three days, and that's when they started so moving down. Basically, you grew up here in Texas. Yes, uh, for a majority of my life, yes. Okay, and you went to school here. Yes. And now, you, you, you uh, at the time your parents passed away, you were already in college, South Texas College. Yes, South Texas College. And you were studying what? Um, CITP, uh, Computer Information Technologies. Computer Information Technologies, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I know it's been a little bit uh, tough for you finding a job. Yes. So if anybody out there uh, knows about what does that... What, what, what kind of work is that? I mean, I know it's got to do something to do with computers, but give us a little bit of detail. <laughs> All right, well, computer information technologies involves about IT skills as well as programming skills. So not only am I familiar with IT technologies and methodologies, I'm actually also well-versed in computer programming such as applications and web, and web design and web applications. Okay, and you have put some applications out there. Yes, um, I actually have like around five resumes for five different platforms online. There was Glass, Store, Indeed, and then uh, three other more. I got one for the McAllen um, newsletter where they send you emails for new job alerts. That's right. what uh, job alerts. And um, let's see, and other other ZipRecruiter and other right. platforms. Okay. Well, we we'll pray for Dominic that God will help him find a job, Dominic. Uh, and I think you know, God has a plan for you, Dominic. I know you, uh, you're, a, you're a, a young man who's put his trust in the faith of God, uh, your faith in the Lord, and, and I think that will sustain you and, and a door will open for you soon. Uh, Dominic, uh, again, a little bit about your bringing now. Obviously, some of these adversities you've had to overcome since your parents passed away, 
You had to, it must be a big adjustment for your life. Oh, it's a big hurdle, I'll tell you that much. It's, yes. it's not just, the, it's not the finances, it's more like just the emotional missing them. I'm yes. always with them 24 seven. They live here and I live here right. with them. Um, right. I sleep next to my, my, next to my mom sometimes because of how much I love her, you know? Yeah. I've always been with her and she's always uh, helped me throughout every stages of my life and now to see her gone is just a big hurdle. Yeah. And, and they're a big was, void. She was my friend, right. you know, my best friend. And I tried everything, and I mean everything, to please them. That's why I went to to college in the first place, you know, to help, to not just for me, but also to make them proud. And that's why. And, and to help them financially eventually. Exactly, exactly. That's why. Well, uh, you know, again, many, many of you are out there experiencing some heartache, some uh, loss of life th due to this disease. In his case, it was his parents. And uh, we just, he wants to share his story with you today because he's hoping that this will help somebody else down the road and, and what they're dealing with. Uh, but I know one thing for sure that Dominic has begun to uh, study the Bible more than ever, right, Dominic? Oh, oh yeah. So that's helped him a lot. And, but we're going to take another little break, Dominic, and we'll be right back in the blink of an eye. En Pueblo Tires and Service, su seguridad es nuestra mayor prioridad. Así que estamos tomando todas las medidas de prevención durante su visita. Mantengamos a nuestra comunidad en movimiento con nuestra nueva y extensa variedad de servicios automotriz y nuestra gigantesca selección de rines y llantas nuevas, como un set de cuatro llantas de 20 pulgadas por solo 499, o compre un set de cuatro llantas de 16 pulgadas por solo 299, y usted recibe una verificación de alineación gratuita. Además, recibirá la inspección de siete puntos gratis. At Pueblo Tires, you can use your income tax return money to drive away with new tires today. Get a set of 420-inch tires for only $4.99 or a set of 416-inch tires for only $2.99. At Pueblo, we're taking all preventative measures during your visit. At Pueblo Tires and Service, your safety will always be our top priority. So we're taking all preventative measures during your visit. Let's keep our community moving with our wide variety of automotive services and our giant selection of new tires and wheels. Like a set of 420-inch tires for only $499. Or buy a set of 416-inch tires for only $299. And you'll get a free alignment check. And you also get a free 7-point inspection. Pueblo Tires and Service. 13 locations to serve you. Welcome back to In the Blink of an Eye. We're here with Dominic Gaona hearing his story. Dominic, uh, I know that uh, God has become even a bigger factor in your life. Uh, would you, what is helping you to persist uh, through all this adversity? Well, everybody. I mean, everybody who's involved in my, in my life, um, your niece, the people who've actually sent me these letters right here. Yeah, what do you, tell us about those letters, Dominic. Well, when I <laughs> when I went to the news, um, uh, I actually was so much in pain that I just needed someone to hear me out you know mm -hmm. I, I, all my life I felt like I didn't have a voice and now this time for the first time when I heard, went to the news and they told my story I had a voice my pain that, that I've uh, that I've carried uh, when I when they passed away and and the soon and the soon enough afterwards after they aired my actually my, my story um, a lot of people started to <coughs> send me letters and emails and even through Facebook they sent me messages and I was just there, um, just wow. Like I, I, th I, I thought I was never gonna get anything. You know, yeah. I thought I was never gonna get any support or anything. Cause like uh, I know that a lot of people are being affected to you know yeah. this. It's not just me, and I'm no one special to. Uh, you know, to receive any help, at least that's in my opinion. So you received several letters from different people, from different backgrounds. Uh, yes. Uh, and they're, what are they telling you in these letters, Dominic? They're telling me the beautiful uh, promise that God has made, that Amen. Jesus has made. You even got one here from uh, South Texas College. Yes, uh, that one I actually sent From the email. office of the president. The president of uh, South Texas College. And they're all encouraging you. Yes. You mentioned that somebody told you to read the Bible more, right? Yes. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I met Dominic because a, a niece of mine reached out to you. Yes. She saw the story on Channel 5, and I think she called you and told you they were going to pray for you. Yes. And long story short, she got in touch with me, and uh, I've been, we, me and Dominic, not every week, but we've been studying the Word of God, the, the promises of God, and I've tried to help Dominic just find the peace and the answers that the Word of God uh, offers. And I think, Dominic, you, you've seen how... God can give us that peace and that strength that we need through the study of the Word of God. Trust me when I know what So, I Dominic, mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you something else here. Uh, I know, you know, you're, you're, you're moving forward. What are some of your goals uh, in life uh, in spite of everything you've gone through? 
Well, my, goal, my goals are to get closer to God now. Amen. Get closer to God, and I know there's going to be more troubles ahead of me. I mean, right. again, I'm not one special to where me not to receive any troubles, just like the rest of you know right. everybody. Yeah. And no, no, but now I know that God is in my side. I'm not scared as much anymore. Yeah. And the more I read, you know, the more I've noticed I've become fearless of these obstacles. Well, I think you've discovered that again, God's word brings peace, hope, consolation, mm -hmm. uh, courage, and strength. And uh, I, I myself, you know, I'm, 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 I'm nobody, like you said, but you know what, in the eyes of God, you are somebody. You're somebody special. You know, Jesus died on the cross for you. He died for me. And death was never part of God's plan, but it's, it, sin brings death. Now, even, even godly people are not exempt to pain and death. I know, but again, the promises of God tells us that uh, the dead in Christ shall arise first. So that's what one of the things that keep us going as, as believers, as Christians, in the promises and the Word of God. And Dominic, a young man that you are, 27, uh, you still have a long life ahead of you, God first. But like you said, your, your main goal is to put God first in your life, which I think there's a Bible verse in Matthew 6.33 that says, Seek the kingdom of God first and His righteousness and all other things will be added. And I know, God, Dominic, that God will ha has a plan for you. My word, my encouragement to you is to continue studying the Word of God. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Put resumes out there. Keep praying. We'll be praying for you. Uh, tell me, Dominic, what are what what accomplishment as of to now as a young man that in, in spite of everything that you've gone through that you could say that you're most proud of? <laughs> Well, there's so many things I could be proud of already. Um, I got my bachelor's and I got, you know, um, I got my, um, trying to get, I'm trying to get my life back. I mean, I'm proud of that <laughs> because um, other people, they could just easily just given up, you oh, know, yeah. they could just yeah. given up and I'm it, not. You, you, you know, there's a lot of people that they give up or, you know, they fall into depression exactly. uh, and things like that. And we're just thankful that you haven't, maybe you've experienced, you experienced loneliness, like you said. Yes. But at the same time, God's word is sustaining you. And, okay. and uh, I think God, again, helped bring people into your life, like those letters and others, and uh, to help you and show you that mm -hmm. if, in spite that we live in a, in a broken world, Dominic, there are people out there who care about other people who, who are sharing their faith with you. Uh, and uh, we're just thankful that you, we're, we're here today, Dominic, with you. It's been a pleasure and a privilege to, to have met you. And I just encourage you to keep pressing forward. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Dominic, so uh, you do have a way to move around transportation? Uh, yes, I actually have a car, um, you know, Chevy Impala. Right, uh, okay. My parents left that for me okay. before they passed, and I've been taking care of it. Okay. Dominic, here uh, you have a, it's a big property. I mean, and uh, may God help you, maintain you. Uh, I like the, the trees. I like the sound of the birds. Mm -hmm. I know your parents did some gardening, right? Yes, they did some chilies, and unfortunately, because of the deep freeze, they, yeah. most of them passed away. <laughs> right. So, uh, well, look, Dominic, in spite of everything that you've gone through, God has has maintained you. He's helped you through adversities. Mm -hmm. uh, and but the, but the most important thing that you've done, Dominic, is that you, you put your eyes on God and your faith in Jesus, and he's going to help you through all this, you know. And again, this disease is terrible. We're not out of it yet, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks have gotten uh, vaccines, uh, and uh, they're, you know, they're saying that one day there'll be herd immunity, and we won't have to wear these masks anymore. But in the meantime, Dominic, I just encourage you to keep your eyes on Jesus, study the Word of God, uh, and 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 keep the hope up. Okay keep the courage that God will give you and the strength and he will supply your every need Dominic what would you like to say to the folks out there before we leave well as far as, far as much as uh, life could hurt you and the most difficult things that will come to you as um, in your life I just uh, pray for all those who have lost loved ones and I know that right now it's difficult but with God everything's possible and we'll make it out of this amen I think there's a verse that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I know you know that. When yeah. you, that's, I think, what you're trying to say. You know, Dominic, again, on behalf of Pueblo Towers and Service, uh, on behalf of, uh, you know, others who have reached out to you, uh, I'm just going to say I know they wish you well wishes. They're praying for you. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm privileged to have met you and the courage that you're demonstrating in spite of what you've gone through. It's inspiring, Dominic. Thank but you. remember, it, it's God who's doing mm -hmm. this work for you. 
And uh, again, if somebody's looking for a, uh, is, is there a number where somebody could reach you if, if they want to offer you a job? Yes, um, they could just uh, call me in 956-703-4247 and I'll answer um, um, soon as possible. Give us that number one more time, slower. All right, 956 703 Four two four seven. And give us the title of your what you graduated. You're an IT. Uh, Computer information technologies, a bachelor's in SCC. All uh, right. That sounds College. that sounds complicated. <laughs> 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 well, listen, Dominic, it's been a privilege. May God bless you and keep you, and sustain you. Folks, again, on behalf of Polo Town Service, I hope this story helps somebody out there. Keep the courage up. Uh, Dominic is not alone, and he feels the love. And Dominic, again, God bless you, and thank you for allowing us to be here to, to share your story, okay? Yeah, thank okay, you. Okay, folks, uh, don't forget you. Polo Town Service. We're there to serve the community. May God bless you as well. Until next time. At Pueblo Tires and Service, your safety will always be our top priority. So we're taking all preventative measures during your visit. Let's keep our community moving with our wide variety of automotive services and our giant selection of new tires and wheels. Like a set of 420-inch tires for only $499. Or buy a set of 416-inch tires for only $299. And you'll get a free alignment check. And you also get a free 7-point inspection. Pueblo Tires and Service. 13 locations to serve you. At Pueblo Tires, you can use your income tax return money to drive away with new tires today. Get a set of 420-inch tires for only $4.99 or a set of 416-inch tires for only $2.99. At Pueblo, we're taking all preventative measures during your visit. En Pueblo Tires and Service, su seguridad es nuestra mayor prioridad. Así que estamos tomando todas las medidas de prevención durante su visita. Mantengamos a nuestra comunidad en movimiento con nuestra nueva y extensa variedad de servicios automotriz y nuestra gigantesca selección de rines y llantas nuevas, como un set de cuatro llantas de 20 pulgadas por solo 499, o compre un set de cuatro llantas de 16 pulgadas por solo 299, y usted recibe una verificación de alineación gratuita. Además, recibirá la inspección de 7 puntos gratis. 